Jim Dillon for Highland Woodworking. I'm here to show you how to sharpen a chisel and also how to prepare a chisel uh, before the first time you use it. These are two fundamental processes that are necessary for successful woodworking, but fortunately there are just a couple of simple concepts you need to master in order to do it right. What I'm about to show you is condensed from the hands-on sharpening classes that I've taught at Highland Woodworking for the past 20 years. Grab a chisel and your sharpening gear and let's get started. A sharp edge on a woodworking tool is the intersection of two highly polished surfaces, the bevel in the front and the back. The first time I sharpen a new chisel, whether it's factory new or just new to me, I prepare it by making sure that the back is flat. I should only ever have to do this once for each chisel, so I make sure to get it right. Now we want the back to be flat for two main reasons. First, because this flat back acts as a guide for much of the work done with the chisel. And second, because if the back is flat, we'll be able to easily remove the burr we create during sharpening. First, I put some Sharpie in a grid on the back. I make sure that one line of the grid is right by the edge. If the chisel is brand new or looks like it's in pretty good shape, I start out by checking the flatness on 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper or an 800 grit water stone like here. Just a few strokes and then I check. This one looks to be in pretty good shape. So I'll just continue on this 800 grit stone. If I had found a hump on the back or if the 400 grit, I'm sorry, the 800 grit revealed a back bevel right near the edge, I would have moved down to the coarsest sandpaper I have or a coarse diamond plate. Coarsest sandpaper I have is usually 180 grit. I'd work with that coarser grit, maybe even using a one by two to apply extra pressure until the back is clean. Once the back is flat, it's a fairly quick process to move up through the grits. Just be sure not to move on to the next grit, a finer grit, until you've removed the scratches from the previous grit. On water stones, the sequence, sequence of grits that I use is 800, 1200, 4000, and 8000. On wet or dry sandpaper, my usual sequence of grits is 400, 800, 1200, and 2000. Either way, by the time I'm done, the back of the chisel is so polished that it's reflective like a mirror. And so, after the 8,000 grit polishing, you can see that the back is really quite reflective, almost like a mirror. That is the highly polished surface I'm talking about that we need to get a sharp chisel. Now on to the bevel. Now we're ready to sharpen the bevel. First I'm going to put a few Sharpie marks on the bevel just so I can see where the bevel hits the stone. And no judgment if you are a person who likes to work freehand. Um, however, Highland does sell several types of honing guides. Tonight I'm using this inexpensive Eclipse style jig which is perfectly adequate for square edged bench chisels, bench, bench plane irons. Just a tweak with a screwdriver to be sure it's not going to let go and we're ready to work. So I'm just going to make, like I said before, a stroke or two 
to see where the, the stone and the bevel are meeting each other. As you can see here, the Sharpie marker is only being removed right at the very edge, which is what we want to see. On my chisels and bench planes, I want the main part of the bevel to be uh, at 25 degrees to this back, but then I hone at 30 degrees, a higher angle, so that when I am uh, honing, I only have to remove a very small amount of metal in order to get that highly polished edge that we're looking for. So now that I know this honing guide is set to the angle I want, I'm going to give it a little more work on this 800 grit water stone. Now, having made a few strokes, a few dozen strokes actually, I'm now going to feel on the back of the blade to see if I have raised a burr. And indeed I have. Now I wish you could feel a burr in a video because this is a key point in sharpening. When you're working with your coarsest grit, you want to be sure that you are, you can feel a burr because it's only when you feel that burr that you can be absolutely sure that you are sharpening all the way out to the edge and that the absolute edge of the chisel is what you have been working on. It's possible to move all the way up through the grits, all the way up to 8,000 grit, and have a bevel and a back that both look like mirrors, absolutely sharp. But if you haven't quite gotten that last few hundredths of a millimeter up by the very edge and you're not feeling that burr, even though it looks sharp, it won't be sharp. It won't work sharp. So make sure you get that burr. Once you have that burr, it really should only take a couple of dozen strokes on the subsequent grits. So here's the 1200 grit, and just looking at it quickly, it's uh, looking pretty mirror-like. Well, no, not mirror-like from 1200, but it's a uniform scratch pattern. Uh, so I will move up to 4000 grit. And like so. I'm going to do 30 strokes at each end of the stone uh, just to try to keep the amount of wear on the stone even. So I move up to 8,000 grit for the last bit of work. And let me just wipe this off, get the grit off the chisel before I move on. And 8,000 grit. So I've come to the, I've gone up all the way through the grits. I still feel a very, very fine burr here. And so I know that I've polished the back, I've polished the bevel, I've raised a burr, and so I'm almost done with the sharpening. The last thing we do is <clears throat> remove that burr. So I'm going to lay it down on the stone with the edge of the chisel well off the stone. I'm going to hold it down firmly as I pull it back. And that way, I'm sort of wiping the burr off. And then I just polish a little bit. And here we have a nice sharp chisel. We'll put on a little bit of oil to prevent rust. And then we'll test it. Let's try a cut in softwood end grain to see how sharp we've gotten it. I would say that's pretty good. 
And there you have it. Flatten the back. Feel that burr when you first start working on the bevel. Polish the bevel up to a very high grit and you've got a sharp chisel. Visit highlandwoodworking.com or the store in person for all your sharpening supply needs. And think about joining me in person for a sharpening class hands-on in the seminar room. Thanks for watching.